Welcome to Big Ass Fan's installation guide for i6. In this video, we're going to show you how to assemble, install, and wire your i6 fan. Before you begin, get your tools in order. In addition to the supplied hardware pack, you will also need a screwdriver, wire stripper, and a ladder. You may also want a multimeter or voltage tester to ensure your power is off at the site. Once your tools are gathered, turn off power at the breaker to the fan's installation location. Contact an electrician if you are uncomfortable performing electrical work or if it is required by local code. Do not use the fan with a dimmer switch. Next, please make note of the serial number of your fan. This can be found either on the fan's packaging or on the motor casing just above where the airfoils attach. After opening the fan box, please inspect the packaging to ensure you have all the hardware and components for your fan. You can use the installation guide to cross-reference the contents required. If you are installing your fan to a junction box, it must be suitable for fan support. Check it to see if it is fan rated. First, verify that you have disconnected the power to the install location. Connect the provided wiring harness to the supply power wires. Carefully tuck the wiring into the outlet box or building structure so that only the wiring harness is hanging out. Install the mounting plate as shown. Connect the ground wire on the mounting plate to the supply power ground wire. Rest wiring cover on top of the motor unit. Raise the fan to the mounting plate. Using the arrow on top of the motor unit as a guide, slide the rubber bumpers into the bumper slots on the mounting plate. Slide the fan in from the side of the plate with the wiring harness hanging out. Next, connect the wiring harness from the fan to the wiring harness from the ceiling. Connect the ground wire from the fan to the ground wire tab on the mounting plate. Ensure the terminal is fully seated on the tab. There are two ways to secure your safety cable. The first option is to secure the safety cable from the fan to the tab on the mounting plate with a thumb screw. However, if your local safety codes require ceiling fans to be secured directly to the building structure, you will need to loop the provided safety cable through the safety cable from the fan and route the other end to the building structure. Insert the safety clips into the receptacles on the mounting plate. Slide the wiring cover up, aligning yellow arrow stickers so that the top of the wiring cover sits flush with the mounting plate. Make sure all of the wiring is tucked into the wiring cover and then twist the wiring cover clockwise to lock. Make sure bolts are loose on the airfoils before installing them. Tilt the airfoil so that the tip is angled upward as shown. Slide the airfoils into the slots on the sides of the motor unit. Make sure the numbered sticker on each airfoil matches the corresponding slot number on the bottom of the fan. Install each airfoil on the opposite side of the fan from the previous airfoil to prevent the fan from tilting. 
Ensure all airfoils are fully seated in slots before tightening bolts on the bottom of the fan. Give each of the six airfoil bolts on the bottom of the fan three full rotations to tighten them. Tighten them according to the numbered sequence marked on each airfoil. Once you have finished, start the process over and tighten each bolt so that the airfoil does not wobble, then move on to the next in the series. This process ensures that the airfoils are level and not misaligned. When finished, verify that all six bolts are fully tightened by making sure that the tabs next to holes 1 and 5 are flush with the openings. Plug the light kit wiring harness into the receptacle on the bottom of the fan. Insert the light kit or lower cover onto the bottom of the fan and twist clockwise to lock. In the event that you need to remove the lower cover on the I-6, you will need to engage the locking pin. The locking pin is located on the fan's lower cover between two nodes. Engage the pin by inserting a thin tool, then twisting counterclockwise. Congratulations on a successful installation! Now it's time to test your fan. Turn on the power, then press any button on the remote control to pair it with your fan. If your remote doesn't pair within a few seconds, simply press and hold the fan power and fan minus simultaneously until the remote's lights blink three times. Get close to your fan and press any button on the remote. The fan should beep when the remote successfully pairs. Please note that it is normal for the fan to jerk forward and backward slightly for a few seconds when first turned on.